Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the smallest and lightest weight travel trailers in the RV industry. This is the 2023 Rove Light by Travelite RV, model 16RB, with a bonus look of the 14FL. We're gonna do the review on this one. We're gonna look at it, but we're gonna peek our head in that one as well. We're gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the travel lights, three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. to another video again today i am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome rove travel light seriously the smallest and lightest weight travel trailer in the rv industry before i begin let's say hi to will hey guys hey will guys this is really exciting because these smaller trailers are they're so popular now right and for the longest time we couldn't even get our hands on them so now the fact that we have a couple of them and we can show you all of them um it's just really nice the it is really nice good and i will say this this is if you look at Will and you say, you know what? Will looks a lot like me physically. Yeah, this, this is isn't not for, for you. you. This is for people like me. Even though I'm stout, I'm still a hobbit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 16 RB, travel light. The actual tip tip length is 18 feet, nine inches. Okay. The dry weight is 2,090 pounds and the hitch weight <laughs> it's 154 pounds. There you go. That is pretty crazy. That is. It is light. <laughs> it's extremely lightweight because it's aluminum framing, aluminum everything. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. No wood, no steel, nothing. This is made to be extremely lightweight. I don't even want Will walking on the inside because we don't have the stabilizing jacks down. If both me and him are on the other side, we're going to tip the trailer. Right. But this, it's kind of like a class B, y'all. I don't want you to look at this as a travel trailer. I want you to look at this as an alternative to a teardrop. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like this for the person that can only tow 2,500 pounds, 3,000 pounds. Right. Right up here, the power tongue jack, not power tongue jack, manual tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and you can see the aluminum framing. There you What's go. What's really cool, Will, is it's like an egg, one piece of fiberglass, tip to absolute tip. Yep. Again, aluminum framing, no wood, nothing like that. And I believe Travel Light uses Asdel. Oh, I think you're right, yeah. Yep, and Asdel is a green-based material and it will never delaminate on you. Yep. Um, right there, I don't even want to call them stabilizing jacks, but they kind of are stabilizing yep. jacks, right? Yeah. A little bit of storage underneath the bed right there. Single axle, look how low this is. This is, is literally like a Hobbit-sized right. travel trailer. Power awning with LED lights, very simple. Single axle right there. And then look at these tires, Will, they're the Mount Rainiers. ST185-80R13. There you go. I've never seen tires like that. All right. Right here we have a black door. I do kind of like the mountain skate going too, on. I do too, actually, yeah. A uh, little step coming in here, womp womp. Well, even though this uh, ultra lightweight travel trailer, I still want solid steps. Right. You see how that works for me? Yeah. I already hit my head on it. Right, I mean, even me, I kind of hit my head but not really. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here, step in there, Will. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the inside. That's so funny. All right. All right, come I on out, Will. Once, uh, hurt, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Coming around the back, Will, we do have a nice bumper. Again, all aluminum. That's where you can store your stinky slinky. Prep for a backup camera. And, Will, can you check out the roof for us? I can't see it, but I'll put it as high as I can. From what I can see, it's one piece. Yeah, no, I know it's one piece. Okay. Yeah. It's really, really nice right there, Will. Then coming around, we do have a place to dump your tanks. Oh yeah, when you stand on that, can you see or no? Not really, but they can probably see a little better. Yep. There you go. Very nice. Right there, so that's where you dump your tank. A little spray port right there. 30 amp service there. Okay. Okay. Right here, instant hot tankless water heater. I like that. Fresh water connection, city water connection. And then right here, you have a little solar prep. There you go. Now, before we go inside, let's just take a look inside this one. Okay. So you can just see the difference. 
Yep, so front bed, middle kitchen, dinette kind of tucked in this corner, and the bathroom in the back. Side mounted AC. Simple. Yeah. Oh, side mount AC. This one is a roof mount AC. Okay. But well, we're gonna take a look at this one. All right. And try to just stay on the opposite side of me. Okay. Bedroom. Bedroom. Right up here, and you do have some separation there. Dinette here, kitchen here, and then bathroom in the back. Where are we starting? We're starting up here, Will, but first, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lipper customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. That's good. All right, well, again, stand on the opposite side of me, please. Well, in the front, we're okay. Oh, okay, yeah, we are. Well, here's the bedroom area. It's actually a room. It is. It really isn't that bad. We got a nice pocket door, windows on both sides, nice rounded corners. Will, again, I really want people to understand in this video that this is a horrible travel trailer. Right. It is an amazing teardrop. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. When you compare this to a Clipper, an Avenger, a Tracer, those are a lot better options if you if you can tow those right. travel trailers. Whereas if you're looking at a Soul, a Luna, a Little Guy Max, a teardrop, this is the same weight, the same money, but it's but actually huge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. I freaking love this thing. It's absolutely amazing. It truthfully is, Will. Yep. And there's storage underneath the bed. Yes, there is. Right over here in the kitchen, we got a fridge here. Nice um, little storage there. Yep. Storage underneath there. Nice sink cooktop here. And then storage right here. Not necessarily cabinetry. No. What? It's just seeing, it's just so funny seeing your head. Oh. And then like, I'm like good in the hood, you know right. what I'm saying? Um, but again, no cabinetry, but the netting, again, trying to make the use out of the space, but making it extremely lightweight. Right. Got a little bench seat here, a little bench seat here. And it's good for two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, simple. Nothing fancy, nothing, nothing extravagant going on. Well, I'm going to say this a million times. Yeah. For the same weight as a teardrop. Right, this is phenomenal. I mean, a Subaru Outback can tow this. Yeah, thing. yeah. And I believe they can only tow like 2,700 pounds. Right. Again, always know before you tow, and truthfully, you shouldn't be towing this if that's your max towing. Yeah. But still, you could. Yep. No slide outs, light walls and everything, very bright in here. And then, here, get yeah, on out. I'll do that. <laughs> right here, we do have the storage there. Okay. And then storage here. Very, very nice. And then we have a bathroom. Before we go to the bathroom, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, MSRP on this unit here. Only $32,036, Will. Jeez. MSRP. Jen, please insert sale price here. And it might not be the normal sale price that you're able to do, Jen. So please confirm with Cosmo before you publish what the sale price is. Right. And well, I don't know what that sale price is, nor do I care what that sale price is, because I know we can get everybody an even better sale price than that. So if you're interested in this unit, go to generalrv.com slash mathcash. 
Um, I've linked the website down below. You can call 844-969-4033 or go to... Gen uh, wait, you already said general. MattsRVReviews.com. Yeah. We have the link for them there. <laughs> Thanks for paying attention, Will. Sorry. It's all good? Okay. You want to hold it or... Um, yeah, Will. Bro, oh, I told you not to stand no, here. I didn't. That was you. That was me? Yes. You didn't stand I here? I did not stand on it. <laughs> mm. Mm. I mean, it's only 150 pounds. How much do you weigh? Yeah. Okay, come in here. No, I'm not coming in here. Come in here. Okay, well, you go up yeah. there. Dude, I was so... That was just me? <laughs> yes. All right, hang on. Well, okay. no, you keep it. Okay, you good, bro? Yeah. We're good. <laughs> that was scary, actually. That was really scary. Okay, guys, just make sure when you use this... That won't happen when you're camping. No, because you when put you the have jacks this, down yeah. The, yeah. Okay, so here's the shower and everything. <laughs> Will. Yeah. My head's barely touching. That's funny. This is shower test seal of approval. Bing! For me. Not for me. Yep, not for Will. Man, even with me sitting up here, it's moving a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's the uh, equilibrium. Right over here, we got some storage. Guys, get your liquefied. This is our brand of black tank chemical. Doesn't matter if you're looking at a tiny teardrop like this, a fifth wheel or a motorhome. This is the best black tank treatment in the industry. You can get it at primepoopmusician.com. Okay. It's plastic, Will. Good thing. I thought it tip over. Right. <laughs> but it was actually, again... In teardrop world, that was a phenomenal bathroom. Good. And the fact that it's a separate bathroom and not a wet bath. Is... That's bonus points. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit. Three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. Yes. Okay. Bathroom number one. Yeah. What the heck's going on? This is such a tiny unit, guys. Yeah. The fact that you're getting like a that. full bathroom. Freaking amazing, and truthfully, the shower worked. Yep. I've been in fifth wheels where the shower sucked more, mm -hmm. and that toilet works, even though it's porcelain, you know, I and mean, even though it's plastic, plastic. you know, it kind of is what it is. That's number one. Will, lay in that bedroom. Yeah, no, I'm not laying in this bedroom. I'll probably get stuck, but this bedroom is number two for me. Talk to me. The fact that it has a door, it's kind of its own separate space, and um, yeah, it's not, It's again, it's not a bad bathroom. You think you'd get stuck? Probably. That's funny. That's number two. And then, well, number three, just the simplicity. I love how much countertop space you get. Yeah. The storage up here, the aluminum framing, the fiberglass, one piece. And again, it's a horror. It's a very small travel trailer. Right. Don't think of it as a travel trailer. Think of it as a huge teardrop. Yeah. And it's phenomenal. Yep. That's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Okay. Well, number one, I'm going to say small dinette. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to combo that and kind of say, I don't like how the dinette isn't fixed. Right. You know? Right. It just is what it is, and um, it is what it does. That's number one. Well, number two for me, I will say the lightness of the travel trailer. Yeah. I can't believe I tipped that by myself. Right. And if somebody forgets to put the jacks down... You know, yep. that might not be fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how to say that without, like, scaring people. Like, don't be scared. Just, Just like, put the jacks down. Put the jacks down and, or stay hooked up to your vehicle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Um, but, but, but again, well, truthfully, like, people are going to be like, oh, I'm scared now because of the trailer. No, bro. Truthfully, stuff like that can happen anytime. Yeah. L look, you want to know what's scary? A fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. When when you unhook that bad boy, oh yeah, like it went rolling back on Wall and Jen because they didn't chuck Ch their we fifth forgot wheel. To chuck the wheels. You know what I'm saying? It's like safety. Every RV can be dangerous, and every RV can be safe. You just got to know what you're doing. That's right. That's number two. You get out first. Yeah. That's number two, and then Will. What's number three? Is it number the three. Is it the doorway? Yeah. The doorway. You know, I, you, you know what, Will? I'm gonna give that a pass. Are you okay. for this unit? You gotta give it to the doorway and the head height. Yeah, it's just too short here, and it's like it kind of sucks because the only other thing would have been like to shorten the awning, which you don't want that either. But I mean, 
I don't know. It's not for me to design, just critique. <laughs> and this isn't an RV for well to buy. It's not. Truthfully, guys, this is gonna be for the smaller petite people. Again, if, you, if you've ever said, I want a teardrop, I think it would be fun. This would be a great alternative it would. for you. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in this teardrop travel light or any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked the website down below. Call 844-969-4033 or go to matsrvreviews.com and fill out the contact tab. Will, I love this thing. I think for what it is, for the segment that it's doing, how lightweight it is. Yep. It really checks off the box for a lot of people that might not have been able to get a camper at all. I agree. So, well, uh, what do you got to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And, and again, this is really, really good for somebody looking for something smaller, lightweight, and truthfully, just getting out of a tent and something a little bit more comfortable. Yes, sir. So make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and will. We'll see you next time.